So the Cleopatra study is a randomized phase three placebo control study, and what we did is compare the addition of pertuzumab to receptin and docetaxel. So we had two arms, one was placebo, pertuzumab, docetaxel, and then the experimental arm was pertuzumab, pertuzumab, docetaxel, 800 patients. The primary study, and this was in the first line with the study setting, the primary study endpoint was tied to progression, progression free survival. And what we observed is that in the control arm, in the testosumab docetaxel, the time to disease progression was 12 months. In the experimental arm, with pertuzumab, the progression for survival was 18.5 months. That's an improvement of uh, over six months in progression free survival. That's a hazard ratio of 0.64 and a very significant and clinically meaningful uh, progression. So overall, an extremely positive trial. Uh, we had also an interim analysis at survival. So this is not with the data is not mature yet, but the initial uh, look at survival shows a very strong trend as well. And when it comes to the side effects, uh, we had an excess of diarrhea, grade 3 diarrhea in the pertuzumab arm, as we would expect from prior studies, and also a little bit of increase in valetropenia, but no cardiac dysfunction and no other additional um, uh, symptoms or, 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 or events. So uh, this is a positive first line study in patients with HER2 positive disease. And this is likely to become the new standard of therapy for this uh, patient population.